Nominal altogether. Passer rating when targeted uh, allowed was like 83. As you look at the tape, you see he come down the field. He's aggressive safety as well as a linebacker in the Cowboys system. Now, granted, he had a post saying that there's not 23 safeties better than him. And I can argue that there's not four safeties better than him. He's top of his game right now. What he's asked to do is a lot of safeties in the National Football League is not asked to do the things that he was doing, playing linebacker slash safety, playing on top of the roof and making it difficult for the quarterbacks to go through their reads or what have you. Almost picked this ball off, almost had two interceptions in this game. And if you look at it, the guy that's on the top of the route right here, he comes down to make that feel right there. And that is not an easy task, by the way. J. Ron Kurz lined up in multiple spots. He was the green dot guy. Watch how he's the enforcer. He comes down to make this tackle right here. J. Ron Kurtz did everything that needed to be done in the Cowboys system on the defensive side of the ball. Setting the tone, being the motivational speaker, also going for the tackle, not trying to knock the ball out. All of those things plays a major role in what J. Ron Kurtz brought to the table. And when you think about it, now, this is supposed to be an interception. Neither here nor there. Flag hate on J. Ron Kurtz was crazy, right? To contextualize everything about J. Ron Kurtz, what he did as a strong safety for the Dallas Cowboys, keep in mind, any other safeties that you look at, they've been in their systems longer than J. Ron Kurtz. This was his first year counseling out the tight end remarkable job flushing him out keeping in phase and in phase and able to get onto this route right here and pick this ball off and get some necessary yard so i like what i was able to see out of j ron curse and also being the enforcer against the run sniff this play out squeezes him on the sideline for minimal games here that is what you want out of your safety to read the entire field come through and make this tackle right here i like what i seen out of j ron curse all last season and we looking for him to elevate his game to bring it back for another year look at him coming down to make this tackle right here blowing through anything that's there and he getting right to the point we like to see j ron curse continuing doing these type of things on top of the roof here and he's able to pull this ball out of the sky I like seeing it. Get those two feet down inside, too. Those are things that J. Ron Kurtz brought to the table. And if we look at everything, watch how he come down to make this tackle. That's a defensive edge type of move. Disengage and get upfield. Man, we like seeing that. So, J. Ron Kurtz being able to do it all. Get off of the block right here. Dispose of it. Make a no-gain tackle right there. Off the edge. Defensive edge, J. Ron Kurtz. He could bring that to the table. Get off of him. Dispose of him. And make the necessary sack against this Washington team. J. Ron Curse brought everything to the table. And, and that's what we like to see. Get him out there. Make that sack there, by the way. J. Ron Curse, the enforcer. It'll be hard to find four other safeties better than J. Ron Curse or three. Uh, one can argue that. You know, so by him saying 23, he don't see 23 other safeties better than him. Man, don't shortchange yourself, man. I necessarily don't see four. Being able to seal off this edge right here and bringing all of this to the table, understanding that this is first time in this particular system. I can only look at J. Ron Kurtz elevating his game. Uh, when you look at all of his tape, you don't see this as, hey, luck or what have you. You just see a good, stout, strong safety. who are able to counsel out the tight ends, nearly pick the ball off here. If anything, J. Ron Kurtz should have had at least four to five interceptions last season. Uh, Got to hold on to that, but neither here nor there. I like his overall skill set, his ability, being able to come down and feel, be that enforcer, being the guy that, that can be a difference maker for your team, the heart and soul as it relates to calling the plays. Now, we do know we like Parsons, right? We like Diggs, but you can't sleep on J. Ron Curse, a sure tackler, a guy that can find the space, get down inside, look at him down there in the middle and making this tackle right here. Ben D. Enforcer, not afraid to come down and feel. Nearly another pick right there. Man, I, I tell you what, he could have at least had five to six interceptions. So hopefully down the line, J. Ron Curse in this system for another year, you will see 
some of the things that you would say to yourself. This dude is a top safety in the National Football League. His ability to read, to react, and then explode, be that sure tackler out there on the field, and also be the guy that can call out all of the defenses for this team. The green dot guy, J. Ron Kurtz, being the heart and soul and telling everybody to lock in. Let's get it. Right now, that's 11 of us out there that's got scored on twice. We're not blaming nobody. Let's lock the f in. Lock Cowboy Nation, I really like what J. Ron Kurtz brought to the table. J. Ron Kurtz continued to grind, get things going in the best way possible. Once again, 75 solo tackles, two interceptions. J. Ron Kurtz was able to be all around the field. Playing at the top, playing down inside, and also blitzing off the edge. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys.